I have a few feelings about this Shu Uemura collaboration with Sailor Moon, so let's get into it. What's up Sailor Guardians? I'm Sailor Snubs. Today we have the Shu Uemura makeup collaboration with Sailor Moon. I have collected all of the makeup items as well as one of the oils and a lot of the merchandise or cute little accessory items that came out with this collaboration. So I wanted to go through these today, share some of my experiences with the makeup because I have been using it throughout the past year and tell you about the accessories that were available as well as a hot take about Shu Uemura. So this collaboration came out just about a year ago, I would say. I know that it was available in Japan while I was in Japan last December, so I was able to pick up a few items while I was there. But I also ended up purchasing many of these items from either proxies in different countries, or I purchased it online on the Shu Uemura website. My experience with purchasing from Shu Uemura here in the United States was kind of bad, and it was mainly just because of the shipping. Unfortunately, here I live in Denver, Colorado, and the way that Shu Uemura shipped from their U.S. warehouse was via a third-party shipper. Once it ended up at a local FedEx distribution center, it sat there for like two or three weeks, which is terrible when it comes to makeup. Luckily, I was able to track it down, but in both of my shipments, because I did order two, both times they ended up getting stuck at this distribution center, and then I ended up doing my own investigation to finally figure out where they were and finally get somebody to actually ship my items to my residence. So it was really, really irritating trying to get these items shipped from Shu Uemura. I actually had a better experience ordering through a proxy overseas and my items came in faster than they did here from the United States. So let's get into these accessories that I have sitting in front of me. A lot of these items were not available in the US or they were like special bonus add-on items. So I ended up purchasing most of these through proxies. This is a very cute little foldable mirror. It does have some liquid and some glitter in the front as well as this cute silhouette of Luna in gold. Here's the mirror and hello everybody. There's my lovely Sony camera. This is a really nice mirror and it's something that I would definitely use so happy that I got it. This keychain was also available as a little additional accessory. This has three different little components to it. There's the Shu Uemura collaboration logo on one piece. We also have a glitter crescent moon and we have a little silhouette of Luna in blue and gold. You'll notice throughout this entire collaboration they have a very specific aesthetic that they're going for. It is all blue, glittery, and gold accents. It's very pretty and it looks very high end, but you do see the same prints, like the same silhouette of Luna and the same silhouette of Sailor Moon on all of the different items. So there's no variance depending on which item that you purchase. I love these two bags. I love how glittery they are and the fact that the little Luna can fit inside the larger Luna. So let's take a look at the little one. This is a teeny tiny little pouch. It does have a zipper opening on it. The zipper is very, very smooth to use. And then there's there's plenty of space on the inside for like a coin pouch, if you will. The back of it does say Shu Uemura and the larger one pretty much matches it. We again have that zipper opening. This one does have a little strap on the end of it and it says Shu Uemura on the back. I did have to get this really pretty little tote bag from a proxy in, I wanna say Hong Kong, but this has a very cute silhouette of Luna on it as well. It's kind of a satiny feel. There is no closure and no pouches on the inside, no zipper whatsoever. So it's just a very, very simple tote bag. But it's cute. One of the other accessories slash makeup items that I picked up is this very nice eye curler. The only thing that makes this Sailor Moon is this little Luna silicone key chain and that is it. Other than that, like it's just a regular eyelash curler. I don't really use eyelash curlers that often because my eyelashes are pretty thick and curly on their own, but this is something that I wanted to collect to add to my collection room. The last accessory item I have is this very pretty makeup box. Now this is a little bit smaller than the normal makeup box that I have, but I wanted it because it's Sailor Moon. So we have that silhouette of Sailor Moon on the front. It does say Shu Uemura at the bottom with the collaboration logo. I'll show you how this folds out from the top down camera. Unfold that, open your lid, and then you have this one little piece that can move over to the side, which gives you three layers of places where you can put your makeup. So let's grab these out of here. I wanted to mention the price on this. I'll put it down below, but I noticed that the price for this in the US was 
was incredibly expensive compared to how much it cost overseas. I know Shu Uemura is an international brand, but the fact that this was so expensive made it cheaper for me to purchase it overseas and get it shipped out here. I'll show you the packaging real quick for all of these items on my top-down camera. So here we have a whole bunch of different lip glosses and lacquers and creams. Uh, there were four different ones. I ended up purchasing an extra one of the Kinu cream, that one. And then I have one of each of those other ones. I do have a spare too that I had purchased for each of these, just so I can show you it out of the packaging. And so I have an extra one for my collection. So I'll start with the Kinu cream. This is the Rouge Unlimited Kinu Cream and Guardian Sparkle. This is what it looks like out of the box. I really like this holographic logo on the front of it. And there are some teeny tiny little sparkles inside the lip gloss, as you can see here, when I kind of shift it in the light. So there are some sparkles. However, they are very, very minute. They're not super, super overpowering. I did notice with all of the lip glosses that they do appear kind of dark on my skin tone. So none of them really match my normal skin tone. I usually go for like nude or pink colors more so than these darker reds. This comes with a little doe foot type applicator. It is very soft. It's very easy to apply. And I do find this one to be pretty moisturizing. So it's a pretty nice lip gloss if this is your color. The next one is probably the closest to my color for my skin tone. Uh, this one's also a Kinu cream and this is called Romance Flush. So here's Romance Blush. This is very similar to the Guardian Sparkle, but it's a little bit lighter of a reddish pink color, almost a mauve. And this one does not have any sparkle in it. So it's more of a matte color. Again, this one also has that doe foot applicator and it's very easy to apply. Let's take a look at Dream Rust. Now this one is called the Rouge Unlimited Kinu Satin. I will mention I'm not super familiar with Shu Uemura, so I don't know exactly what the differences are between these, but you can tell that they're different just by purchasing them and looking at them. But this one also has the really pretty logo with Sailor Moon on the front of it, and it's kind of a holographic material. We also have the logo here for the collaboration. And this one is more of a lipstick. So this one is pretty dark again on my skin tone. As you can see here, it's fairly dark. It's more of like a winter color. So this is the perfect time of year to be able to use this. Uh, but again, a little bit too dark for me. I did find this one to be relatively smooth to apply. So very, very comfortable to wear. The last one out of the lip products is this Rouge Unlimited Amplified Lacquer. And this one is in Mauve Flash. Here's the Mauve Flash product packaging. Again, we have the same logo on the front. And this one is a little bit different. Now, I found this one to be pretty smooth as well, but kind of drying in my opinion. So I tended to put a lip gloss on top of it and that felt a lot more comfortable on my lips and didn't feel as drying. All right, I'm gonna share this product with you now. So this is an eyebrow pencil. I ended up getting two. I got one from Japan and one from here in the US. They're exactly the same. The eyebrow pencil I found to be pretty hard. Like it's pretty tough to actually get it to apply anything. I don't find it to be as good as the uh, the Benefit one. I think it's by Benefit. There's, there's one eyebrow pencil that I absolutely love and it, it applies so much smoother and so much easier. This one I found the tip to be incredibly hard. That's even after I had sharpened it a little bit with one of those eyebrow pencil sharp so I didn't really like this product as much. I felt like it was just a little bit too hard to apply. I had to use quite a bit of pressure to actually get any kind of color to come out on my eyebrows, but I am wearing this today. So you can kind of see what it looks like on my eyebrows in this video. This product, Petal 55, is a foundation brush. So the only thing that makes this foundation brush Sailor Moon is this little logo of Luna right here at the bottom. It's a very, very soft brush. This is really good for foundation and I love how it applies and how soft it is on my skin. It's very comfortable to use. The shape is a little strange to get used to though because I'll show you this one. It's really dirty, but this is my normal foundation brush, which I just picked up at MAC. So this one is, given it's so flat, it is a little bit of a learning curve if you're used to a curved design, but still a very, very nice foundation brush. I don't use oils on my face, but I really 
like the packaging of this beautiful face oil. So I wanted to get the smaller size so that I would have it for my collection. But this is a face oil. I can't really tell you about how well it applies or anything because again, I don't use face oils. They make me break out. But apparently this was extremely popular. It was very hard to get this because it sold out so quickly. So I was able to buy this in Japan. Okay, let's move on to highlighters. I have two different highlighters. There's this one and this one. First we have Crystal Dusk and then we have Moonlight Honey. Both of these have, of course, the same packaging as the rest of the collaboration line. I'll start with Crystal Dusk. I really like the image on the front of this. I love that it's kind of holographic and shiny and sparkly. When you open it, you'll see that it is a very, very pressed powder, but when it comes out, it's got this beautiful shine to it. I'm actually wearing this on my cheeks today. It is very subtle, but it's got this gorgeous sparkle and I really, really enjoyed applying it and having that sparkle. Whenever I shift my cheeks towards my studio lights, you can really see that glow. So I love this. I think it's very beautiful and I do recommend this product. The other one is called Moonlight honey this one is also very very pretty again we have this pressed powder now this one is not as sparkly but it gives you this really nice glow so you can tell on the background there's the other one this one is the moonlight honey and it just gives you this pretty golden glow so that's a great highlighter for like if you want to have a nice golden glow especially in the winter time or I mean, shoot, you could use this in the summertime too to give you a glow when you're tanning. These last two products with cat hair all over them are both eyeshadow palettes. So we received two eyeshadow palettes from this collaboration. The first one is more of a travel size and the second one is their larger eyeshadow palette. Here's the travel size. I would not say that it is very diverse. It's a pretty simplistic palette. There's not a lot going on here. It's pretty dark colors all around except for this one up in the corner. I am wearing this at the edges of my eyes and in the inner edges. And I used a little bit of purple on the outer edges of my eyes. I do take this with me from time to time traveling because I do find that each of these eyeshadows is very easy to apply and very smooth. However, if you like the glitter ones, there is quite a bit of fallout. You'll even notice quite a bit of fallout around the edges of this eyeshadow palette. So if you are applying this, I would recommend covering up your cheeks so that you don't get sparkles all over them. I kind of like sparkles, so I don't really use like the tape hack whenever I'm applying sparkly eyeshadows, but there is a lot of fallout. So just keep that in mind if you're putting these on. I love that there's a mirror on the inside of this. That's super helpful and very, very useful. Let's move on to the larger eyeshadow palette so I can show you this because it's my favorite product in the entire line. So here's the larger eyeshadow palette. I love the packaging of this. It's like a faux leather material with this gorgeous print of Sailor Moon on the front. We also have some embossed stars that kind of stick out a little bit. And we have, of course, the gold foil printing that matches the rest of the collaboration. The bottom of it is just this faux leather in black. And there is a magnetic closure and it comes with nine different eyeshadows. Now you'll notice with these as well, not a lot of versatility, definitely not a lot of versatility. It's all kind of in this brown, warmer color space. Today I am wearing the lightest brown as my base and then I used these two browns to add some shadow to the corners of my eyes. I used this one on my lid and then I used the pink on the center of my lid. I also used a little bit of the sparkles as well. You can tell that I do not use this very often and it's because I generally prefer to have more colorful options. For example, I tend to use the purples from this one a little bit more. Like you can tell I've been using that one quite a bit. And I just have other palettes that I prefer over this one and it's because there's not a lot of colors going into this, not a lot of color theory. But with that said, again, these matte eyeshadows are some of the best that I have used in my like 25 years of using eyeshadows since I was a teenager. So I really, really like these because they are so smooth. They're so easy to apply. Honestly, on days that I'm like trying to hurry, I don't even have to put on any kind of primer. I can just apply these and they work just fine throughout the day. And that's saying something. But if you do apply primer and then you add these they're just so easy to apply even if you do have drier skin or in my case I do have oily skin so they don't create lines in my creases so generally just very very high quality eyeshadows I just wish there was some more color so I'll take my glasses off so you can kind of see a little bit more of the color going on on my face currently I tended to do a little bit more subtle colors with these there is a lot of sparkle but there's not a lot of versatility with the colors again so I was going for a 
a pretty basic brown color on my eyes. The eyebrow pencil again was pretty tough to apply and I do love the highlighter. I love how much shine it gives to my cheeks. So I really like it overall. Now I mentioned that I had like a hot take or a bone to pick with Shu Uemura and that's because they did this giveaway on Instagram and I recall that I had already ordered or I was planning to order everything. So I didn't even enter, but I did share it on my stories. And I was like, hey, you can enter and win a bunch of Shu Uemura products. Uh, it was supposed to be like a randomly chosen thing for people that commented and shared. And I was like, cool, like hopefully some people who don't have access to this stuff will be able to win these items and be able to, you know, get access to them. They picked like five winners or something like that. And it was supposed to be random, but it ended up where everybody that won was an influencer or was in the community with a large amount of followings in some sense or another, which is no fault of the influencers who entered, of course. Like, I mean, shoot, I entered giveaways all the time. This was just not one that I entered, but it was kind of unfair and it came off unfair from Shu Uemura because they ended up picking people with large followings. And I think it's because Shu knew that the folks that won would share it on their pages and tons of people would see them and they would get tons of engagement. So it it wasn't really random and if they're just going to send out PR boxes to influencers they might as well just have a media or PR list that they send these products out to since they're gonna get the engagement anyway and then do the giveaway separately when random people who are not influencers by trade could end up winning. That's just my personal take and something that I feel was a little bit unfair on Shu's part. And I think they could have done it differently. So this wasn't the most inspiring collaboration for makeup that I have seen. Honestly, comparing this to the current ColourPop lineup, I feel like the ColourPop one gives us a lot more versatility, a lot more color theory, a lot more experimentation that you can do with your own artistry, your own makeup artistry. I do think that these are high quality products, but I don't think that these colors are for everybody. So would I buy this again? Probably not. I would hope that they would go with some lighter colors for like my skin tone. But if you do have a darker color theory, then I think this would work really wonderful for you because they are high quality products. So as usual, if you are interested in Sailor Moon reviews or if you want to know about products before you purchase them, definitely subscribe down below. My sinuses are kicking up today. So if my voice sounds weird, that's why. Thank you so much for subscribing again and I'll see you next time. Jenny.